Statistics, paper 31, advanced level, mathematics, Friday, 14 June, 2019. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. The total mark for this part of the examination is 50. Question number one. Three bags A, B, and C each contain one red marble and some green marbles. So part A says draw a tree diagram to represent this information. So to draw the tree diagram, you have the branches, the two branches. The probability of getting a green is 9 over 10. And the probability of getting a red is 1 over 10. So if you pick a red the first time, you stop. So for the first pick, if you look at that column there, the first pick, if you pick a red, everything stops. But if you pick a green, you go ahead and pick, do a second pick. And in the second pick, if you pick a red, you stop. In the second pick, if you pick a red, you stop. Or if you pick a green, you go ahead to do the third pick. In the third pick, if you pick a green, okay, and if you pick a red, you stop. So the three picks, one, two, three. You stop if you pick a red. If you pick a green, you go ahead. If you pick a red, you stop. If you pick a green, you go ahead until you get three. And in back A, there's one red and nine green. So total in back A is one plus nine is 10. In back B, there's one red and four green. So the total is one plus four is five. And in back C, there's one red and two green. The total is three. Question 1B, find the probability that Sasha selects three green marbles. So probability of green, green, or green. So what happens is the first time if you select a green, the probability is nine over 10. Se select a green the second time, the probability is four over five. And the third time is two over three. And as you go along the branch, you multiply them. So probability of green, green, and green is nine over 10 to get green the first time, times four over five to get green the second time, and times two over three to pick green the third time. And you multiply them, it gives you 12 over 25, which is 48%. But C, find the probability that Sasha selects at least one marble of each color. So what you can do is the first pick, the second pick, and the third pick. So I can pick green and red, or you can pick the green and a red there because you want to pick at least one of the colors. So this is another way to look at it. You want to have at least one of each color. So what you do not want, you don't want to have green, 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 or first time pick red. So you do not want to pick red the first time and the experiment ends, and you don't want to pick green, green, green. They're all the same color. Green, 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 they're all the same color. Or if you pick red, it's just one, the same color. So you don't want those two options. Picking red, it ends. Pick green, green, green is what you don't want. You want at least one of each color. So let's find out what probability of green, 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 or red is. Probability of green, green, green is 0.48, which we got from question, from the previous quiz part of the question, which is 12 over 25, the green, green, and green. Probability of the red is one over 10, which is 0.1. So you add the two together, you get 29 over 50, 0.58. So probability of at least one red and green is one minus that 0.58 gives you 0.42. So you subtract from one from subtract from one and you get the probability of at least one red or green. 
part D. Given that Sasha selects a red marble, find the probability that he selects it from back B. So if we use this conditional probability, probability of A given B is probability of B intersection A over probability of A. So arrow B means from the red back, select from red marble from the back. And so now what you want to do is you either want to select the yellow one here, which I've put in yellow color. You want to have a red, or you want to have a green and then a red, or you want to have a green, a green, and a red. So given that Sasha selects a red marble, find the probability that he selects it from back B. So you can have a red, or a green and a red, or a green, a green, and a red. So arrow B means probability of getting a red from back B. So the way I look at it is probability of getting a red from back B, intersection probability of a red. So a red from back B is part of all the reds. So this top one, probability of getting a red from back B, intersection probability of getting a red is just the same as probability of getting a red in back B divided by probability of a red. Now, what's the probability of getting a red? We can do one over 10 plus a green and a red, probability of a green times probability of a red plus probability of a green times probability of a green, times probability of a red. And when you do all of that, you get 0 0.52, which is 52%. That's one way to do it. Another way is to find, this is another way to do it. Another way to get probability of red is one minus the probability of green, green, green. So one minus 0 0.48, which is gives you 0 0.52. So that's another way to do it. So the answer is 0 0.52% or 0 0.52 is the same as this 0 0.52. So there's two ways to do it for that part C. So the probability of red from back B is nine over 10 times one over five. Nine over 10 times one over five. It gives you nine over 50, which is 0.18. So now your probability of red from back B, given that it is red, is the probability of red from back B divided by the probability of red. So it's this 0.18 divided by the 0 0.52. And that will give you nine over 26. 0.346. If you change the percentage, 34.6% or 9 over 26. That's question 1A. That's question 1B, C, and D. That's another way to do question 1C. And that's another way to do question 1D.